the next topic we got. So there, there was reports about Daniel Snyder. We we addressed this in the last podcast. Yep. But we ain't even addressed the new recent developments. So Jim Ursay, there was an owners meeting. Mm-hmm. Two things, three things I want to say right at the top of my Go head. Go in. <laughs> so, because you know I'm passionate about it. So my whole thing is that, um, you know, let me say this. The NFL is a bunch of bullies, the owners. Okay, let's just call it what it is. They hold the players to standards they don't hold themselves to. And they talk about protecting the shield when there's blatant racism, discrimination, sexism, and all types of other stuff going on behind closed doors that they don't ever really talk about. Okay, let's just be honest about it. They mm-hmm. don't have to acknowledge it, admit it. We can all act like we don't see it, but we know. Clips so Oregon, right. he's preaching. Right, and when the players start to even resemble a little bit of that, they jump up and down and say, you're reflecting a bad thing in the shield. But behind closed doors, y'all do it too. So that's one. What I want to say to this statement before I make it, what goes up must come down. See, it's kind of what Kanan said, and in, 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 I saw a clip because I haven't watched the whole thing. Kanan said in the clip, in the Raising Kanan, Shout out to 50 for that. He said, yo, once you get the crown, did you watch the last episode? No. He said, okay, so I'm not going to say what without when I saw the clip. He said, once you get the crown, he said, you're not hungry no more. Oh, yeah. No, you know what? My bad. I did see it. I saw did that see clip? it at the end. I, I, I didn't, I didn't watch the whole episode, clip. but I saw the clip, okay. right? He said, you're not hungry no more because you get somebody who's yeah. bigger, stronger, faster than you. Point I'm making is, is that the NFL is a media conglomerate. They're at the top. Nothing can be stopped. They got millions and billions of dollars. Who's going to no touch more. them? You know what happens? There's a lot of people in that room. And even though they all think alike and they all stick together, all it takes is one. So hearing what I'm saying. One chink in the armor. So Daniel Snyder is that chink. Not to mention when they had a meeting yesterday, it's reports that they had a, a, a meeting about Goodell's salary. Now, the only person from report that had an issue with his salary from um, Roger Goodell's salary is uh, Jerry Jones. Meanwhile, Kraft and him was like, no, we ain't got no problem with what we paying him because he's dealing with everything we don't want to deal with. And he's doing what, what we, you know, what we want him to do. Right. So they're doing all that. I guess Jerry Jones said to Robert Kraft, don't, don't, you don't want to F with me. And Robert Kraft's looking like the looking, he said to somebody else, who the F does this guy think he's talking to? Right. So you got that going on. What was the key is that after the meeting, Jim Ursay comes out and say that there's a merit to get rid of Daniel Snyder because of all the reports. Now, people keep bringing up the Robert Sarver thing, okay? I think with the owners, the owners want him out. They want Snyder out. It is clear they want him out. The fact that Jim Ursay, out of all people, should talking about like how he's bad. If you ever know about Jim Ursay, yeah, his buddy. alcoholism, his his rude behavior. Don't let him off the hook. Keep his going. drunk driving. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. He's he's he he wild out. So and I mean I'm not against you know I'm not here to, to judge and jury, but for you to be saying that somebody else's owner needs to go because of certain that's behaviors, bad. That shows that's how bad. bad. You are mind you, y'all got a race problem in there. It's funny you say that there's time, a merit. Every time we do a podcast and we talk NFL, mm-hmm. I want you to keep saying that because we deal with it in media, but yep. this is on, that's on a, a micro level. Right. I want you to talk about the bigger problem. There's a race problem with the hiring practices in the NFL. And ever since he got he let rid of, he got rid of um Jim Caldwell, and let's just call it what it is, what happened was Peyton Manning got hurt. You didn't have a team, and instead of you keeping Caldwell, you you pushed him out the door. He goes to Detroit. He gets them in the playoffs, and Detroit ain't been in the playoffs since they let him go, because they listened to some bozo from New England that 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 them sunk that franchise, and they're still they're still at the bottom. Let that go though. I'm gonna let it go. Then it, so Ursay don't went and got coaches. One coach he tried to hire. He the next day before the press conference side, he ain't want to do it. Then he brought in another coach that ain't work out. And now and now he's he's scratching and he's calling out the quarterback Carson Wentz the year before because they missed the playoffs. It it's just funny to hear him say there's a merit to get Snyder out of here. Now see, let me tell you what the difference is. What I think the difference is with him and Sarver is. Sarver has made it clear. He had made it clear. If y'all try to get me out of here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, t- I'm gonna speak. So what the owners did, and let's call it what it is, and it's just in my assumption. It's not a fact. I think what they did is went to those sponsors and said, "Y'all need to go deal with this dude because we can't, and he'll blow us up." With Snyder and them, 
I don't think they they, they could try that, but he gonna tell it. He might. Oh, y'all that's, want me out of here? And that's and that's what watch I, what I tell you. That's what I want. That's yeah. what I want right before mm-hmm. the collect players. If you're listening to me, y'all might want to start digging up some dirt. Yeah, let them say as as much as they spy on players mm-hmm. and send and send because they talked about this. I forgot um, I forgot what podcast it was. Mm-hmm. What's the podcast with the dude with the um, the light skin dude with the dreads? You and Brandon Marshall, yeah. yeah. So they had pivot some, or I am athlete. They had somebody on. I forgot what athlete it was. He was like, they were telling me stop going to party, stop going to party. Mm-hmm. He said, oh man, I'm young, so I went to the club anyway. It was a basketball player for the Spurs. He said, I got called in the office the next day. He said, what do we tell you? Mm-hmm. He said, we told you to stop partying, right? Mm-hmm. Well, we had a private investigator follow you around. Mm-hmm. You don't think the NFL is doing that to some of these players? Facts. So Facts. once again. Before the collective bargaining comes up, because mm-hmm. you have no leverage, that might want to help Snyder out. Because if he tells what he says he has, mm-hmm. he's acting like he got that big ace. He's acting like he got that yeah. jo- Joker in a space game. Yeah, a lot of domino chips is gonna fall. That's yeah. the only way to create leverage for the players. You want all this to come out. Yeah, as bad as it might sound, people. Oh, we don't want to hear that. Oh, it's racist. Blah blah. I want it all on the table. Yep, hit everything. Want you to blow it up, mm-hmm. and and let me go here. You know, and Snyder is no 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 saint either, but you know, because there's a lot of discrimination and harassment and all types of stuff going on in there that he did. And I can tell you now, he ain't gonna get no new stadium because it was reports he was trying to look into Virginia to try to get the the, the commanders down there. That 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 was oh, nobody's boy. gonna give him no money for that man. Now let me tell you what else is gonna happen. That's why the owners are probably letting him out to dry. What else is making him look bad is um, Ron Rivera, mind you, because he done been opening his mouth when he ain't supposed to, and was saying how stressful it is to come into work every day and have to deal with this mess. Because they're on the field. They don't. They ain't got nothing to do with what goes on in that office. You think Carson Wentz or any of Terry McLaughlin, all those guys, they guys ain't worried about that. They don't go in that office. They ain't got nothing to do with that. So whatever's going on in there, that's between, you know, Snyder and them. But they have to answer to it. And I mean, it's 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 a lot of bad things. You know what I can't keep forgetting, and I know I brought this up the last podcast. When Gruden let out those emails, he was speaking for a lot of those owners. I'm gonna say that one more time so you understand what I'm saying. There was blatant discrimination. There was good old boy type of description of how the the um, Maurice Moore, the, whatever Morris looks like basically to the essentials of a, of a, of a of animal that that's very, very racist towards, towards black men. And we all know what that is. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to say the word, but the fact of the matter is he was making those comments to a team president up under your organization. I know, even though you ain't in those emails from what they pulled, allegedly, you know, you, you were in that circle too. Gruden is well embedded into that culture in the NFL. So he knows a lot of owners and he knows a lot of those those GMs and team presidents who Bruce Allen, good luck, and you ain't getting no job no more. I can tell you now. And I'm shocked Jay Gruden's even back around. Point I'm making is you were in that environment. He was speaking for a lot of those people in that room. Yeah, I was in there yesterday. So y'all better hope those emails from Gruden, because Gruden ain't going away either, because he he filed a lawsuit. And the NFL's trying to keep all that stuff out of out, out of um the public. They're still in court trying to fight that. Now you got Snyder. And I'm going to tell you now, if you try with Travis Sarver, Snyder's going to go, he's going to go out kicking and screaming. I always say, what did I say to you? I think I went on a podcast last week. It was a week or week before. I said, yo, there's a way that you, you know, I always had a, I always had a mentality like, yo, if you get at me, you might get me at, at one time. I'm going to make but you I'm, feel it. But, but I'm, 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 I'm coming back. Mm-hmm. And even if I don't win, you ain't gonna walk right again. Or there's gonna be something on your face that you you gonna look in the mirror. You never gonna get rid of it. Uh, yep, you know it's gonna so remind you. So I gotta you. take this L. So it's the same thing in the street terms. It's gonna be debilitating Facts. for you. Facts. It's gonna be something bad, and you're not gonna get out of it. Now CBA comes up, so the owners know. I mean, as much as they don't want him in the room, for the betterment of the shield, which is basically an, a, another code for AK, protect our behinds. They're gonna might roll with him, but it's it's just so much pressure. It's too bad. All that stuff that came out. Did you see all that stuff that came out? So some of it. Some women were complaining. Now you got Gruden in them and Bruce Allen that was part of those emails because people ain't people ain't forgot about that. Then you then you and 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 you brought the 
you you got two minorities and high figures in the, in the team. I mean, it, and that kind of just looks like a uh, like a a handover position. There's another word I want to use for it, but I ain't gonna do it. It's like a handover position. Yep. You gave them a C position, a C O O, and I'm not gonna use the other word position. Mm-hmm. So you 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 basically gave them that, and they're gonna try to fix it. But I mean, I I don't know how you're gonna do it. It's bad. It's really bad. If I'm and I mean, if Snyder, it's not like Snyder will be because like Sarver, like you don't get billions of dollars for selling that team. But I mean, it's your team, and it's something you don't want to give up and probably want to pass on to your son, and he can't do that no more. So I can assure you now, my, my feelings is so hurt. If for they that don't, <laughs> if they don't get Snyder out of there, the owners don't. I can assure you, the sponsors is next. Mm-hmm. And if the sponsors don't get him out there, then if, if they, if, but either way, they succeed. That's why they're stalling, because they know if they put him out, he's threatening the song, and they're like, "Oh, that's absolutely false." Yeah, okay. Mm-hmm. Mind you, you got Jerry Jones looking, and him and Kraft is going at it. See, there's beef going on. It's too many, too many cooks in the kitchen. That chink in the armor is revealed. Yeah. Yeah. It only, think take, it only take one. That's facts. It only take one. That's facts. So I, I think that when you look at it, there's a lot more coming. We have yet to hit this. Down the line, whatever podcast we at, whatever number we at, I got a feeling within, you talk about over and under, the next 10 podcasts, I guarantee we'll hear something else. And I mean, it'll be really damaging. So it's either he's going to get the team up and they gave him, they said, yo, look, man, you're going to get billions of dollars, just go away. Or he's going to be like, no, I got something I want to say. Yeah. So whoever wants to listen, please do. Well, <clears throat> that's our topics on the NFL, man. Um, mm-hmm. We're, we're going to come back with a lot more stuff um, on our next podcast of sports because outside of NFL's basketball season. Yep. And we the season, man. And, and we you, got a whole bunch to say. Facts. On multiple topics. And, 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 and I'm going to say it because 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 my partner is a very humble guy. And he always feels like I'll just show you better than I can tell you. Other than those, 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 um, unlike other individuals and outlets, we ain't just going to media day. We actually are there. We actually with the, we actually know the coaches. We study it. So we got a lot to say. Mm-hmm. And we got a lot to say about platforms. Let me say this one more thing. We got a lot to say about platforms that these big power schools go after these coaches. That's where we be at. Mm. Just want to say that. So we got a lot to say. Shouts Both. out to the American East, CAA, um, and also to Meek. Mm-hmm. Both on collegiate level and at and a professional level. Facts. We're gonna have some dope content coming up. Mm-hmm. Now we now we travel 